Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuei, joined by Achara Kirk over Hi, here. Hi, guys. And uh, we're looking at Mardani 2, the official trailer, which just dropped from YRF. It's starring Rani Mukherjee, and it is directed by Gopi Puthran. I have not seen the original, but I have a strong idea as to what the tone and feeling of the original is. And I don't believe you've seen the original trailer, so this is going to be all brand new for Achara. I haven't seen that first trailer in a very, very long time. I watched it with Courtney Wright some time ago. But uh, anyway, uh, let's check this out. Here we go. Oh gosh, that's really good. Oh no. much uh this is probably gonna get demonetized by youtube <laughs> <laughs> so uh i guess let's just have the conversation there seems to be this warring uh, of agendas going on in india right now between this right what and would then, you call and, this and, and, well i don't want to say what it is but like this the r word yes and okay. then and then the opposition of that notion because there's the false r accusations i hate this topic I'm just going to say that as well. Uh -huh. I hate this subject. Um, but for those of you guys who are on the side of... Uh, obviously, I uh, am not a fan of the R, right? I, I don't want that to ever happen to anybody, most especially Jabby. That's a stupid joke. I'm just trying to lighten up the mood here. Um, okay, so <laughs> I really don't like talking about it because it, to me, is probably one of the most heinous acts a person can do yeah. to another Agreed. person. Right, irrespective of their gender, it is one of the most heinous acts an individual can do to another individual, mm -hmm. and so that's why I hate talking about it because it's just it's just nasty, right? And so for those of you guys who are constantly entrenched in this conversation, you know um, whether you're on because India is more actually I'd say Indian and, and Americans are like very in, heavily involved in their news. Indians probably more than Americans, like they watch a lot of news over there. Apparently, uh, I mean this is from American news information that I'm getting that. So you guys can correct me about that as well. Um, but it seems like, uh, according to American news that I've watched, uh, a lot of Indians are very heavily entrenched in their news programs, right? And so obviously you're gonna have uh, very extreme factions of uh, battling ideologies. How, how do I phrase this? This is a very difficult uh, conversation. So if you are someone who is battling for the hashtag believe her, for instance, mm -hmm. right? This is probably a very cathartic film for you. 
because it's it's she's going after the I feel like across the board if if you know whether you are someone who is fighting against false R accusations or you are someone who is fighting for female rights especially mm -hmm. in this particular subject matter um, with court cases and whatnot when you're watching a story about someone who is genuinely a monster and and, and taking advantage of of women um, you want to, it's cathartic for you to see that person brought to justice right and I feel like in this case there is no question there is no doubt that the R word happened and not only that there's murder and torture and a whole bunch of other awful things happening here. So, like, you can't deny that. It's Ooh. a crime. Right. You know? Well, the thing about it is the very beginning of the video is making a statement. It says more than 2,000 crimes, our crimes, are committed by boys under 18 years in India every year. That's it's a like, disturbing statistic. So, it's, it's, it's deliberately bringing this information into the conversation about the movie right right to help support its story and so that's what i'm saying is like this is obviously fighting for a certain argument if that makes any sense mm -hmm. right and so again i go back to the warring agendas the warring ideologies and it's a tough thing that and that's why i stay away from it altogether because first off i don't live in india and and i'm not you know, a young dude in India who's afraid of a potential false accusation because of reasons that are, you know, different than would exist here in the States, right? Like, I'm not going to go in down that rabbit hole. That's for a different video, a different conversation. This is very, making it very, very clear um, that this person actually did these crimes and it, it, he's a monster. Yeah. Right? And so there's no... I feel like this the, the conversation of ideology has to be addressed before you can even critique the trailer. That's why I'm going through the long, you know, winded effort to explain that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this is so awkward. So like landmine steps, sidestep landmine, sidestep landmine. Okay. Boom. So you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, just taking it for granted, taking it at face value of, of what it's saying, like just taking the story on its own merits and setting aside all the political conversation, even though it's kind of embedded in it, right? Mm -hmm. um, for me, if I'm watching a, a story about this, you know, first off, it's cool to see a, a once again, India does this all the time. You got a strong female protagonist mm -hmm. and no mention, as far as I can see from the trailer, no mention of... Oh, you're a woman and you're awesome, or you're a woman and you can't do the job. Yes, I'm I'm a woman and I will do a better job better than you, Mr. Man. Like none of that bullshit that you get here in the States, right? Right. And famously in uh, Lord of the Rings, there is this uh monster in I think the two towers or something who says, No man can kill me, pulls off her helmet, I am no man. It's like yeah. it's so like over the top with the, you know, gender empowerment kind of thing. Whereas here, it's just she just is this powerful character, and I believe her. You know, yeah, hundred percent. She she's she embodies that that spirit of of lion strength, you know, in her endeavor to catch this criminal. And so. what I like as well is she looks physically like she's unexpected for that role like there were several times I was watching the trailer I was just really taken by how beautiful she is because I think she's stunning and also I'm like whoa I never would have thought of her as this type of character you know just based off her looks but the way she's carrying herself the way she's moving the way she's talking like the strength that's underlying her actions I 100% believe her as this badass police officer who is gonna catch the bad guy. Yeah, no, I like her. I like. I mean, I like what I'm seeing of her here. She she definitely exudes uh, a lot of strength. And mm -hmm. you know, if I'm based on the way she's performing it, if I'm staying in a room with her and she's looking at me the way she's looking at the, you know, whatever, I'm gonna be intimidated. You know, yeah, she, she's showing a lot of amazing strength here. For and, sure. And. Um, you know, if again, if this was in the States, they'd be making a point that she's a woman. And here she's just accepted as this strong character amongst the men male characters here. Right. As far as as far as the movie's indicating so far. And clearly she's an expert in her field. I feel like yeah. she's I mean, I haven't seen the first trailer, so I don't have an idea of what The trailer the, to the first film. Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah. The trailer to the first film. Um 
So I don't have an idea about what that movie was about, but I do feel like she's that sort of specialist crime person that you call when there's an uncrackable case or when things get really heavy and hard. She's the one that you go to because she seems super smart as well yeah. and she knows what the heck she's doing. So she's gonna get it done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm rooting for her as a character in this trailer. I'm mm -hmm. rooting for her in this story, setting aside the the political stuff. I'm just rooting for her character that she catches the bad guy. You and know, just like just like any crime drama. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm getting that kind of like a Silence of the Lambs feel, you know, with right. that serial killer who's playing cat and mouse with her and who deliberately enjoys the attention. You know, kind of like Mind Hunters and stuff like that, where you're kind of getting into the the mind and mindset of people who feel that compulsion mm -hmm. to hurt people and to kill people. Yeah. And like the images in this were just so graphic and disturbing as yeah. well, but I can't help but be intrigued. So here, let's take a step back off, off the thing I said earlier and, and kind of play devil's advocate to the thing I said in the, in, the, in the initial part of the conversation. Do you think it's at all possible that they're introducing the information at the top, not so much to create a dialogue of, you know, left versus, not even left versus right, but like, not to necessarily to create that dialogue about R, mm -hmm. but more so just to enhance the experience of the movie, to make it feel even more real. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you see a, um, a long time ago, I forget what movie this was because I never actually watched it because I'm not into horror films, but there was this monster that could track you by your dead skin cells or something Ew. like that, right? Because, and, 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 and it's said in the trailer, you know, you, the human body sheds skin every several minutes, every several yeah. seconds. So it's like it... That's what dust in your house is. Right. And I remember sitting next to the, my, it was my first girlfriend, my high school girlfriend. She, she was watching that trailer with me. She's like, actually, that is accurate. That's true. And it makes the monster more scary. And so this, in, in this case, the monster is a human, right? And, uh -huh. and so the, the text at the top just makes him more scary, conceivably. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, yeah. And, and I'm just wondering as well, with that statistic, is he now a teenager? Do you know what I mean? Which is also super disturbing. And the fact that it takes place in Kota, where a lot of young Indians go to study to, to take their exams, right? And it, like, you want your children to be safe. Right. You want to know that your, your young people are safe. And here, it, if like, this was based on a true story, which it says it was like, that's terrifying. Yeah. You know, if I was a parent and, and my teenager was there far away from me, I don't know if I could handle it. I, I might just be like, mm, yeah, you're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's tough. I mean, it's tough. And there's all kinds of things that I would probably end up teaching my daughter to help her. Well, yeah, getting in a car with a stranger late at night is just don't do it. I don't, but then like, what do you do? Then you're stuck in the middle of the road, like in the middle of the countryside, in the middle of nowhere with no means of getting home. Like it's a tough situation, but like that was a bad, bad idea to start with. Well, what you do is you keep a switchblade on you. And know how to use it. And know how to use it. And, and what you do is when you ask for that help, go well, thank you and you, you keep that kind of happy, uh, innocent face as you've got the little blade in your pocket ready to go. And your phone ready to go yeah. too. Or like just fake a conversation with someone on your phone. Right, or Like, hi daddy, I'm someone, some nice man is taking me home. You're nice, aren't you? You know? <laughs> you guys, let us know your feelings in the comments below. And uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.